Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud. So in today's session, we'll look at a public preview capability for adding QR code as an authentication method in Microsoft Entry ID, and of course, assigning that to particular user accounts in our Entra directory. Of course, in regards to scenarios, we typically use this um, for frontline workers, where in which we've got a whole load of people maybe in a warehouse, they're accessing different machines at different times, and they want to be able to present a QR code to their machine to not only authenticate themselves, but authorize themselves to access particular applications in their organization. So let's get to it. First off, you need to navigate to entra.microsoft.com and of course be assigned the applicable permissions, whether or not that be global administrator or security admin or auth admin to manage the authentication methods in Entra ID. On the left hand side where we see identity, we want to scroll down and then we've got the protection service blade where we also see authentication methods. This will take us to a list of authentication methods in our organization where of course we can add the Microsoft Authenticator app for number matching, uh, pass keys being uh, kind of UB keys let's say, and also temporary access pass to bootstrap our way back into a machine if we're locked out. Well, Microsoft only today have introduced the capability for QR code in public preview. Previously, we were able to enact this through the, the use of Graph API. Uh, now we can do this for the UX itself. Of course, there are some caveats around that at this point in time, which I'm going to go through as well. However, with the QR code, all we need to do is select QR code preview, and this will take us to our scope. And this is where we scope out what users we want to be able to enact QR code upon signing whether or not that be uh, particular individuals in our organization uh, via the use of Microsoft security groups or all users as a whole. Right. For this particular demo, we're just going to select all users. However, we could select listed or select Microsoft 365 security groups. I've, also got, I've, I've of course got the option for excluding particular groups as well and users within the organization. Once we've enabled and we've selected all users as a scope, um, we can select configure. And this will give us the option to define the QR pin length um, alongside the uh, lifetime of the QR code. The QR pin length can be a minimum of eight characters as per NIST standards and uh, can be a maximum of 20, right? And if I were to define the QR pin length as let's say 10, that would be the minimum for assigning QR codes to users in my organization, right? But we'll leave that as is for the time being. We've also got the lifetime of a standard QR code, and this can be anything up to uh, a year to 13 months. But once again, we'll leave that as is. Um, there is a hyperlink up here for Learn More. This, funny enough, would, well, it would typically take you to a Microsoft document, uh, but at the moment it's just redirecting you to Microsoft Entry ID, uh, because this QR code, um, which is currently in public preview, is relatively new. When I say relatively new, it's only been pushed out today, so they probably haven't caught up with the, the collateral in the public domain. Now, as when we press save at the bottom left, this is enabled from an org wide perspective. We now need to assign the QR code uh, to a set of users in our organization so that they can actually use it and consume it. On the left hand side, um, where we see um, users or users, we've got a list of users in our directory, right? And for this particular demo, I'm going to pick user one, let's say. And on, the, on the left hand side, where we see authentication methods, we want to select. And best practice, you may also want to re-require registration after you've assigned the authentication method and revoke the sessions so that the access token expires and as and when they sign in next time, they're prompted to set up the, the, the method, right? Um, but we're not going to go through that process. What I'm going to show you is how to assign this. Um, so you can see this user in particular has the Microsoft Authenticator app set up already, also a, um, a laptop Windows Hello for Business enabled uh, with the minimum prereq of uh, TPM uh, chip 2.0 and above. Um, however, now we've got the option to add authentication method and you should see in the drop down, we've got the option for QR code, which is currently in public preview, which is great. We would only have this option if we enabled it from the authentication methods blade, uh, which I've just shown you. Okay. If not, it wouldn't show and you would only have the listed options there. Now, we can select QR code and then of course this will give me the option whether or not I want to assign this QR code now or later. Later meaning um, kind of just in time access uh, for using the QR code which of course adopts that approach of the zero trust methodology, right? Alternatively, we can assign the QR code now and we can set the expiration for that QR code. And of course that's derived from a organizational um, uh, standpoint and we set that for a year. So of course it's now showing us um, uh, for, for the second 2026, right? Uh, but we can also go back in time, that's not a problem. 
but we'll leave that is for the time being. And we can also set a pin, and of course that needs to be a minimum prereq of, of eight characters as per uh, the org wide settings. I've also got the options to generate a pin, which is also applicable. So if I was to generate a pin, it will generate a pin. Um, crucial thing about this is um, you need to save this now. Um, you, well, once it generates a QR code, you'll save that as an image. We'll also save the pin. Um, retrospectively, you can't get the QR code once you've went to the next step, right? Um, in regards to the pin, you won't be able to view it, but you'll be able to reset it at any point in time. Okay, so if I was to press add, you'll see it's added in the QR code and it will present me the QR code, which I need to save from this point onwards, right? And I can press download image. Um, and I'll also need to save the pin as kind of a backup option. Now, if I was to come in here and I'll show you, so we can see the QR code has now been added to the authentication methods and we can also see the expiry time of that QR code. If I was to select the ellipsis on the right hand side, we've got a few options in regards to amending the QR code. One, we can delete the QR code which is you know, completely fine. Um, and we, how, we can't view the pin, however, we can edit and change the pin, right? And let's say the users forgot their QR code, right? We can issue a temporary QR code to kind of bootstrap them back in. Um, if that doesn't work, then we just need to remove the QR code uh, once and for all and create a new one, right? Um, but like I said, scenario-wise, typically frontline workers would use this um, in regards to document collateral and any prereqs around this. Um, nothing yet has been published by, by Microsoft. There are a few caveats, right? Um, typically, uh, what I found so far is you can't enforce this sign-in through conditional access. You can't manage the QR code through the security info page in, in my account at this point in time. And this sign-in method isn't available uh, when accessing portal.office.com at this point in time. Right. Any questions, just please do let me know. This is a relatively new feature. Uh, like I said, it came out about an hour ago. I thought I'd get a quick video out uh, for, for kind of the public domain. Um, but as and when uh, time goes on, we'll probably see more and more collateral. And of course, uh, we'll start to demystify this a bit more. But thank you.